на части, рвите на части, скатерти гости, скатерти гости, лейте на стулья, лейте на стулья, жив от котлет. Горки гости, горки гости, под ноги бросьте, под ноги бросьте, машьте горчицы, ценный паркет. Чашки рюмки, чашки рюмки, чашки ком, чашки ком. Do you want to experience the magic of Tolkien's The Hobbit, but you don't have nine hours to kill? Don't worry, the Russians have got your back. In 1985, a 70-minute Russian version of The Hobbit was produced, which itself led to the end of the Cold War. As we all remember in Reagan's immortal words, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this Eye of Sauron. Just think of the 70-minute version of The Hobbit as the applesauce on the go of Tolkien movies. Yeah, sure, there is the animated version, but it's impossible to watch that anymore without thinking of Mr. Slave's ass. Asshole! I thought you were going to talk about Meet the Feebles this week! When did I say that? Of course I'm doing Russian The Hobbit. Peter Jackson's The Hobbit comes out this week. You still could have done Feebles? It's directed by Jackson! Yeah, well... It... Hmm. He actually does raise an interesting point. If only there was a movie clip somewhere detailing my exact thoughts at this very moment. The dummy's right. Eh, yeah, well, at least he's not yelling at me about not doing Friday the 13th 3D this week. Yet! Pfft, don't mind him. His parents were killed during the making of Wood Chipper Massacre. This version comes to us from, um, Russian Word Productions? It's a lot of words for, in Soviet Russia, Smaug desolates you. If things look bleak here, it's because this is 1985, and Russia is still mourning over the defeat of Ivan Drago. I think this is supposed to be J.R.R. Tolkien? I'm not sure. We'll know if the internet starts fighting about what he would really think of Peter Jackson. It sort of looks like he's upset because clearly his co-anchor stood him up. In any case, Russian Walt Disney looks much more like the real thing than Tom Hanks. This is either Bilbo Baggins or, judging from that hat, it's Adebisi from HBO's Oz. Well, hey, I think Spoonie used this very same costume in Russian Suburban Nights. Russian Suburban Nights is a little like regular Suburban Nights, only it ends with all of us taking over a small Midwestern town with the Cubans. It's rare I see a wig so sparkly that I think KC and the Sunshine Band are snorting blow inside of it. Looks like Liberace sneezed on his face. I just know Russia. Mr. Bilbo Beckins. Hey, I understood that word. <laughs> Even though I kind of already knew that that was Bilbo. They better hurry. I don't think Bob Ross has finished painting the background yet. That's not just so we need some business notion. And ради вашей матушки я дарю вам то, что вы у меня просите. Wow, is he psychic? Hold on, kids! The magic is just beginning. Hey, why are you interrupting? Magic was about to happen! And not the kind of magic that involves Bilbo giving us the bedroom eyes for some reason. Is it just me, or is the soundtrack playing up on the housetop? Makes sense. Gandalf also doubles as Middle-Earth Santa Claus. Don't you just hate it when a dinner rush comes in five minutes before closing? I see hipster Bilbo can't go anywhere without his scarf. They're all getting together so they can convince Nathaniel the Grublet that it's okay to steal. I see this is why there was no more room at the inn for Mary and Joseph. When Gandalf said he wanted to host an orgy at Bilbo's, he neglected to tell him that it was going to be all men. No. Any minute now, they're going to start singing about why it's great to be a stonecutter. It came at the right time, too. It's all-you-can-eat wings night. And you can't have long-haired, possibly smelly men at dinner and not invite John Lennon. Не прошло и получаться, как в доме у мистера Бильбо были уничтожены все запасы. И привеселое общество в 26 рук. I prefer the old days when they mostly made movies like Russian Bad Taste or Russian Dead Alive. Good job subtly pretending you didn't look at the camera there. No need for a second take, I saw nothing. Bilbo looks like Fatty Arbuckle being read his rights. And now he looks like the guy at every dance club who's only there because of his date. Ну 
курили свои трубки. It's a good thing they shot this scene before smoking was outlawed in every Shire establishment. And who elected the cowardly lion as their leader? We know if Bilbo is falling asleep 15 minutes in, what chance does the audience have? Подвержен необъяснимым приступам. And I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure Bilbo ejaculates in this next scene. Yes, of course, you live. Put your hands in your pockets. I heard that same sound when the trailer for the new Captain America movie premiered. Best be quiet as they go over their plan to steal millions of dollars from Andy Garcia's casino. Actually, Bilbo is going along with them to act as a burglar to get a share of some treasure that's being watched over by a dragon named Smaug. Yeah, that needs to be nine hours. But back to the music. Watch! 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 Я не запели таинственную песню гномов. No worry, fellow travelers, I'm lost too. If only there was a 15-minute cutaway to Radagast covered in bird shit. Well, that would totally help. Ooh, I love past the vodka, especially when you're at the end of the line, when you get a whole half bottle of backwash all to yourself. Много дней и много миль. They've come across their first obstacle, discovering the lost set of a forgotten tramps film. This is actually Flaming Brian's anus after drinking the Ass Reaper. Careful, guys, don't get too close. You're gonna get sucked into the medieval ages with Bruce Campbell. I'm now a third of the way through this movie, so it's best that I stop now and divide this review up into three parts. <laughs> we'll see you next time, folks! <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> Even though, I would make a lot more money. I'm not sure, but I think that lizard or whatever may have fallen to its death. This is as comfortable as it's gonna get, boys. Find the nearest rock and catch some shut-eye. <laughs> Is he gonna fuck them? So why is Bilbo dreaming about the dopey buzzard from Looney Tunes? <laughs> Christ, is there a magic mirror in every fantasy novel? Whether it's a castle or a cave? I have a feeling this is gonna get very campy. That's not campy, that's just catchy! It's that moment when you don't know if it's the video fucking up, or if it's just the movie. They're just trying out their new camera that shoots five frames a second. And is anyone gonna acknowledge that Bilbo is on fire? This guy looks like an orange is giving birth to him. Heads up, travelers. Von Kaiser is very easy to defeat. Wait for the uppercut and punch him in his laughing face. I don't know why they give Bilbo so much shit. In some shots, he looks like the tallest one. Sound effects done by the neighborhood LARPers. Good job. Представьте себе, как он перепугался, когда пришел в себя. Кругом ни души, ни проницаемая тьма. Oh, hey, it's that part where Bilbo finds Joe Theismann's Super Bowl ring, and Gollum fucking wants it back. This scene happens at about the 32-minute mark, which coincidentally is the length of the scene in the newer version. By the way, under this costume is still Andy Serkis. God damn, that guy can play anything. I hear there's a petition going around to get him nominated for a Russian Oscar. I think he's been down there a while. He's looking a little moldy. What the hell, didn't Santa Claus conquer this guy at Rift Tracks last week? Не увидать ее корней! Вершина толще дополей! He's dressed as a rogue dishwasher who got caught in a fisherman's net. I wish this were done with motion capture. That way he could look not real. Дело было худо. Вы-то знаете ответ. I can't tell. Are those fangs, or does he have two shorties sticking out of his teeth? Well, when you've been doing this long enough, your thoughts tend to project on the subtitles. Oh, and I think your pond in the background is farting. My pleasure. Prashay. But all the time, he had a very painful feeling. 
а не должен ли он вернуться назад. I'm not entirely sure which character is which here, but I think the framing wants me to pay more attention to the trees. What? This is the twist? Pennywise was a spider? Don't try spraying battery acid in his face. This is an easy fix, guys. Just let go of the web. <laughs> Bilbo's got the right idea. Beat it with a stick. У одинокой горы вокруг озера стоял наполовину сожженный драконом город. What the hell? I don't know why this is being interrupted by a performance of God's spell, but I'll wait. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna tell this movie the same thing that I told Snow White and the Huntsman. It's okay to hire short people. Fuck, I think that is Russian Andy Circus. Seen here making friends with Prince Adam. Why is it that every set in this looks exactly the same? I don't know if they've walked 20 miles or 20 feet. But regardless, I'm glad it's only 70 minutes. Here he is talking about how he never wanted to be Bilbo Baggins because he spent years training to be the next Curly Joe Dorita. Hold still, you can't go until you take a whiff of a fine bottle of Belvedere vodka. I hope that by the end of this, this guy completes his transformation into Dean Stockwell. Why? Why is he going back to visit Gollum? No, he's, he's not. It just looks like the same set. Remember, kids, if you discover pure crystal meth in a cave, you will end up chasing a dragon. Я слышу твое дыхание. The special effects work here is very questionable, but my god, is Benedict Cumberbatch's voice haunting. This, by the way, is Smaug, the name that makes you think that you're butchering the accent of a British person saying the word smog. Smaug strikes fear into men by holding a conversation with them, but never actually looking them in the eye. Honestly, all he really wants is a belly rub. Ooh, who's a good Smaug? Are you talking to me? Because, uh, I don't speak Russian. Неразумно смеяться над живым драконом, сказал он себе. Am I fucking high? I'll have you know that this same scene was used in the Russian versions of Reign of Fire, Godzilla, Game of Thrones, and for some reason the big chill. Huh, well that was easy enough. Chest bump! And Turtleneck pops back up to tell him where the best local barista in town is. Ugh, come on, fellas, it's been 60 whole minutes. Time to wrap this up. Alright, there's a bunch of other characters here, too. I couldn't tell because they're not doing anything. Even when we cut away to the scroll of the legendary dance fighting. Unfortunately, in all that time, the Middle-Earth nuclear holocaust has taken place, and it's killed the cowardly lion! Now they're gonna honor his will by tossing him in a tub of banana pudding. Well, show's over, gentlemen. Handshakes all around. Let's return home singing a jolly song. It all ends with Bilbo having a nice, quiet evening at home, anxiously awaiting production of Russian Lord of the Rings. Поскольку все на свете имеет конец, и даже наша повесть, то настал день, когда мистер Бильбо Бэггинс... Huh, that's a bummer. Well, that's Rush and the Hobbit, and it is full of spoilers about the new film. And for those keeping track, you may have noticed that this version failed to show us anything about the wood elves or the trolls. Oh, and I think Elrond may have been missing, too. Got anything on the backstory, Ed? Mm -hmm. Ah, well, I had to try. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm on my way to see the brand new Hobbit film, which during its running time, I could easily watch this version about two and a half times and only feel like I was on mushrooms without ever actually doing so.